Okay. Um, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to talk about arm movements while you're drawing today. So um, I have two cameras. Hopefully this is going to work. So you can see what I'm doing with my arm and then also like the connected movement to my hand while I'm drawing. Um, drawing is different physically than writing in that you need to use your whole arm, like fingertip all the way to your core. Um, when you're writing, um, you generally only like move your wrist, okay? Like you just move slowly and it's just your wrist that moves. Your arm kind of stays um, straight. Um, when you're drawing, it's important to move not only your wrist, but also you, it's important to hinge at the elbow and it's important to move at the shoulder as well, okay? So um, if I wanted to draw a straight line, that's going to be my guideline. If I wanted to draw my straight line and I'm only going to move my wrist for this one, it's really difficult to stay on that line, even for me. Um, if I move my wrist and my elbow, it gets a little bit easier, okay, to like draw that whole line, but it's easier, it's like, all the way if I hinge at the shoulder. So I keep my kind of arm and pencil steady and then move at the shoulder, okay? And then I can almost follow that line way easier. Um, it's important to move your paper around, move your body so you can draw comfortably. If you're having a difficult time drawing the line that you want, only moving your wrist, because you don't have that much control, I want you to get comfortable moving your whole arm. Okay, see that difference? Watch, you know, watch my pencil and then watch the video. See how I'm moving my shoulder, moving my elbow back, moving my shoulder to the side um, while I'm doing that rather than just constricting the movement to my wrist. Um, you're gonna practice this movement by doing an exercise called superimposed lines, which I have written the requirements for in Google Slides. But what you're going to do is you're going to draw a straight line, okay? And then you're going to try to draw that same line on, on top of it eight times, okay? Eight times. And you're going to do this in pen, okay? So not pencil because I don't want you to erase. And I want you with your eyes to kind of follow, not follow, lead your pencil, lead your pen with your eyes to the end point. It helps to know. Well, it doesn't help. You need to know where that line's gonna end in order to draw it correctly, okay? So I want you practicing moving your entire shoulder, moving your entire elbow, and I want you to try and draw that line eight times as good as you can, right on top of that line. Make sure you're starting at the same point. So this over here should all be kind of starting at the same point, it's okay. Um, if the lines get a little separated on this end. Your goal is to try and superimpose them exactly on top of each other. Um, so hopefully if you start kind of doing it like this and you're getting a little off, that's okay. Hopefully by the end of the exercise, you're drawing them directly on top of each other. Moving your arm, moving your shoulder. Moving your eyes. And it'll be easier to draw what you're trying to draw the first time if you get used to moving your whole arm, your whole elbow and shoulder and wrist so you can get comfortable. So practice that in your sketchbook. Follow the requirements on slides.